esophageal atresia is a birth defect where the baby is born with an esophagus, which is the swallowing tube, where one portion is not connected to the other and the distal portion is usually connected to the airway so that the baby cannot be fed and the secretions from the stomach can freely pass into the lungs. This is an entity which occasionally can be diagnosed in utero, but sometimes the baby's born with this condition and it's only diagnosed after the baby's born. When an infant is diagnosed with esophageal atresia, the infant needs to be brought to the operating room in an, in an expedited fashion. We need to divide the connection between the lungs and the stomach because otherwise there's contamination of the lungs from the secretions of the stomach. And although the results of the surgery are highly successful and these patients generally do well, there are multiple complications and problems which occur lifelong in these patients that our colleagues in the CADC help us manage. These patients can develop gastroesophageal reflux. These patients can have motility problems. They can have growth and nutritional problems. They can have pulmonary problems. We're in the process of developing a center of excellence which will provide a multidisciplinary approach for the follow-up of patients with esophageal atresia. This will include our speech and swallowing therapists, our gastroenterologists, surgeons, endoscopists, and radiologists for the management of the complex problems that these children face postoperatively. Because of our five decades worth of research experience in this particular area, we can provide the most advanced technologic advances for esophageal atresia that provides the most outstanding care for the management of these problems.